folks, it's the Pod Squad with Jay Malucci, Wendy Card, and yours truly, George Oliver. Thanks for joining us. It is March 10th, 2022, and this is episode number 210. Woohoo! Wow, Woo that's something. That's really How something. It, so, our guest today, Commissioner Doug Emerson of the East Carolina Amateur Baseball Association. Kathy Morrison with the New Bern Historical Society is going to drop by, and Dr. Eric Oakley with Oakley comprehensive dentistry they'll oxley. all be joining us today sorry oxley oh, oxley l-e-y sorry I, i'll tell you no. what guys uh, that is my dentist oh, oh yeah. Dr. Oxley, yeah so is would it be okay if i ask him a few questions about the crown he recently put in on this I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, no yeah. Go for i hope he doesn't charge me my copay we'll just have to see how he's feeling <laughs> maybe you'll get a discount if you if you, if you uh brown nose them today right you know yeah, you can sort of talk right. it over a little bit here and then get in the office and you know nice yeah, nice. that's right well that's poor right. dr oxley <laughs> yeah i may not recognize him fully because every time i see him he's got a mask on. But I'll, I'll believe you if you tell me that's who it is wendy i'll believe you yeah, well we'll see yeah um it's... So learn with us as we talk to the people and learn about the places and the happenings in New Bern and surrounding areas. Wendy, what's happening over in your corner? We got a contest? Uh, we do. But before we get started, please comment and your comments will show up on this, this show. And if you do not do not want it to be displayed publicly, say so ahead of time um, because it's going to be published otherwise. Oh, wait, wait. Um, if you don't want it public, you shouldn't post it, right? I was well, told yeah, that my make kids that thing. The, well, social media is forever. If you post yeah. something, it'll be on there forever. Yeah, but yeah. I try to I try to help people if they just want to privately comment. But you're totally right because you can see it after the show yeah. or during the show. So. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, we have a question. Okay. The trivia contest, and you may win a gift certificate to McCoy's. Ooh. barbecue or chicken and barbecue oh my gosh i went by there last week and it was just, just it's the best food it's, it's one Where of my favorite that, restaurants Where's McCoy's? it's on noose boulevard it's across from um i think it's two rivers church now it was the oh, new okay. building yeah. uh yeah yeah it used so. to be a hamburger place like all they had was hamburgers so i used to go there no. people used to say it was the best hamburger in town but but i guess they're doing they uh, they have all kinds of stuff. Okay, so they've gotcha. been there awesome. since I think I moved here when I moved in two thousand five. I think they've been here, so they're my neighbors. Oh, okay, cool. that's they're, great. They're, yeah, they got <laughs> great food. So anyhow, um, what's the question? The question is, what yeah. year was North Carolina established Ooh. as a state colony? As established. <laughs> established. Oh, oh. Mm. I wonder. I wonder if there are two answers to that. Uh, um, it's the when I I was searching that was uh, that's how the wording was, and it was on multiple sources. So gotcha. Okay. When was North just, Carolina established? Mm. So think back uh, around this similar time when New Bern was founded. So don't give them any hints. Wait till later. That's it. No more. <laughs> <laughs> When was it established as the barbecue capital of the world? <laughs> <laughs> and Veronica, thanks for watching. And Glad we'll be here. I think we're gonna be talking about you in a little bit because we're talking about art walks. So Ooh, cool. Um, cool. Yeah. Cool. Anyhow, yeah. So what's going on? Um George, you've got a big announcement, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, um, <laughs> we've been doing a lot of work. I'm thinking what what is it? Oh no, this, this is your life. You're about to tell me something I didn't know about myself. Um, uh, we, we've been doing a lot of work at the theater. That's probably my big announcement as of right now. We've been, uh, we've renovated the Athens Cafe building into um, offices, of course, and also a rehearsal space and a space where you can have small shows. Uh, we had a show in there a month or so ago, the last five years done with the Legion players and it went really well. It was a wonderful show, but it was also a great use of that space. And then um, we have been renovating the theater itself, and there are so many transformative changes. We're, we're excited to show the public, and the best way to see it will be starting tomorrow night. 
uh, when we have our first show in there since the renovations. The Sax Bradbury Players, which is made up of teenagers in our area, uh, they do the entire show, direct, produce, costumes, light, sound, act, all of those things with the help of their mentor, Jordan Heath, who's helping out this year. Um, and that starts tomorrow. It runs for two weekends. It is almost Maine. It is a wonderful show. Come check it out. Bring the teenagers in your life or, or other people in your life <laughs> and share those with, with our community. So that's exciting. And we're looking for an executive director and we've narrowed the search down. So we hope to have an announcement on that in the next couple of weeks and oh, hire boy. somebody. Yes, very Loop exciting. Yeah. yeah, it's great. Well, the renovations, you know, from the outside, I haven't been in to see them yet, but I've heard about them. And um, having been in the theater before it was renovated, I know how desperately it was needed. And yes. so it's wonderful that you've been able to do this. And it, it means so much to the people who perform there as well as the people who attend the shows. Because yes. you have a, a nice, clean, bright space to rehearse in and, and you know, costume area and everything. It's just wonderful. So, yeah. And Jane, so, you, you've probably been in that green room back there. Oh, right? the, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So completely transformed and doubled in size. So, um, Super. Yeah, it's it's really neat. It's really yeah, it's very yeah. good for our volunteers to have a, a good space to go back there and relax before they get on the show yeah. on the on the stage or change clothes and all those sorts of things. It's just a really good space back there now. Yeah, it's great. That's super. Well, congratulations yeah. on all these wonderful changes. I can't wait to hear your big announcement when you announce your new director. Yes, I know. I'll be very excited to have that announcement to make. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. Tyler, Tyler Griffin has done a wonderful job as our interim. Um, he is focusing, I needs to start focusing his attention on the business that he and Von Lewis are working on, which is um, the Baxter building. They're turning it into a jazz club, should open hopefully in April. So it's going to be a, a nice new hot spot in downtown New Bern. They're going to have lots of live acts, music, uh, tapas, all, all kinds of drinks. So Fantastic. it's going to be a really cool place. Yeah. Wow. So, wow. Another, another great venue for New Bern. I mean, yes, we are spoiled. Exactly. We are yeah. really spoiled. I love being spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> keep it up. Keep it up. Yeah, keep it up. More, 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 more. <laughs> exactly. Uh, that's great. That's super. Wow, that's some really exciting news there. Yeah. And Jane, yeah. you what do you got going on, Jane? Well, the um, the small business center is hosting another uh, lunch and learn at the Chamber of Commerce next month. Uh, so it's a little advance warning for you. I think it's April fourth, and we're talking about making partnerships within your community you know who who you can collaborate with and that's what the presentation is going to be about and i'll be doing that through the chamber and well not through the chamber through the small business center at the chamber and so you can find out in both places how to attend that event and that, that's a pretty cool thing and then the coastal women's forum had their um trade chair uh and it was amazing from what i heard i wasn't able to go because i <laughs> I injured myself, but that's a whole nother story. Um, so anyhow, it was a great event and the food was wonderful. It was at the flame. And now, as a matter of fact, the Coastal Women's Forum's luncheons will be at the flame. From oh, here. wow. So that's a big change for our organization. And if you're interested in attending either the daytime or the evening meeting, just go to coastalwomensforum.com. And um, you can, or just Google Coastal Women's Forum and you'll find us. And then you can go in there and, and register for either our luncheon or our dinner meeting. Love to have you. We always have great speakers. And you get to meet some very interesting women who are business people from all over our, our eastern North Carolina area. So come join us anytime. Very cool. So what's yeah. going on, Wendy? What isn't going on? <laughs> just, it's just been knee deep in all kinds of stuff. Um, I do want to say once again, okay, somebody say you have a flyer yeah say you've worked for a really long time on an event or you have a special announcement that you want, want to make and all you have is the who what when where how like the date place just and people are looking it looks really pretty and sometimes it's just packed full of information which is great but if you send it to me I don't have time to be retyping flyers. And, and for one thing, I don't want to get the wrong messaging out. That should be coming from the person that is creating this event or has a special announcement. Um, flyers cannot be searched by Google. Like Google can't grab those words. 
So it, we really want to help you. So please send us a summary. It, it doesn't have to be anything fancy and a picture. We publish as, as an article on, on our, actually, um, I'm going to go out here and just show you an example of, of what we do. Okay. Um, yeah, because the, the press release is much easier and it, it's a very simple thing. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. And if you include a picture, please be sure to identify who's in the picture so that uh, Wendy can, can post that as well. And make sure that you have the rights to the picture. Please don't steal somebody else's uh, artwork and put that up there as a picture for your article. Use something that's, you know, that you took yourself or that's open source. Um, and yeah, getting the information, this is great. And so you, yeah. So I don't know. Can you all see that? Um, mm -hmm. Wendy, okay. I got to tell you, I'm very impressed uh, with your use of the technology on this. <laughs> I mean, seriously, yeah, this is this is good. We we can see it. Excellent. We can see yeah, exactly that's what you great. Have there. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you. It's it, thanks to these special programs they have. Um, so so this was um, submitted by Deacon Jim Hackett um, with Fake Connection, and we clicked right, you know, back to their website or you know where wherever the the location is. And there's a, a, a good picture of the board, I think that is, yeah. And uh, and then we, uh, are you still with me? We're still with you. There we go, okay, I couldn't see you, all right. Um, <laughs> so that article goes on our, our social media sites, it goes on our daily email, and then we may talk about it during the show. So it it's purpose, repurposed. And as of today, I have to say, um, we are about 20 page views short of 50,000 page views per month on our website. Wow. Oh That's just the, web, the website. So if you're trying to reach a local audience, I, I, I've never, I mean, we, I don't know what the deal is, but um, people are just, we're being inundated with information. So we're trying to share it the best way we can. And we want to help you. That's our whole goal. It's not about us. It's about our community and right. the great people like you all and our special guests. Do we have, uh, are we ready for our first one? We sure yes. are. Yeah. Uh, Doug, are you ready for us? Just give me a wave. I can see you. No one else can. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there hey. You are. Hi, Doug. Hi. Doug's ready for the ball game, man. I love yeah, it. Yeah, look at you. Uh -huh. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you for, for joining us. Um, and we're really excited. So East Carolina Amateur Baseball League. It's yeah, ECA, you, uh, East Carolina Amateur Baseball League. We've been in existence since 2016. So we're starting our seventh year. We have six teams. We, we wear uh, Major League uh, jerseys. We have Major League team names. We play wood bat, and the ages are 18 to 65. <laughs> <laughs> next, year, next year it'll be 18 to 66. Am I right? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Wow. Hey, Super. Where do y'all play, Doug? We play at K for Park. That's yep. on uh, George Street. We're trying our best to revitalize it and bring it back to its historical um, presence. That's we have a long way to go because that ball, everybody <laughs> remembers, had a 2,000 capacity seating capacity with a, a canopy and grandstands and everything. And wow. Going down, you know. So uh, we're trying slowly but surely to bring it back to that um, state that it, it was in. So anyway, how many games do you play? Excuse me? How many games do you have oh, a week? We play on Sundays. Uh -huh. so we play three games on Sundays. We start at 1 o'clock. We go 1 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and 7 o'clock. Wow. And that's for right now. In uh, a Oops, you blocked up on us, Doug. Oh. Oh, we we don't have any Hello. sound for you right now, Doug. Can't hear you. We've lost your audio. Oh, I he's muted. I'm going to unmute 
I'm trying to unmute you. Doug, we can't hear you. Please un unmute your microphone. Doug, I'm having hearing aids on accustomed ring lips. You keep you keep doing that and I'll tell everybody what you're saying. <laughs> Doug, Games are on yeah. Sunday, one, four, and seven. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Doug. And also we have can't hear you. hot dogs at the park. Oh. And Cracker Jacks. And you should Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, there no, you go. I can't hear you though. Oh well we can hear you now. Oh, God. Well, um, <laughs> this is you. why I have probably, this is my very first attempt at doing anything like this. I am so computer illiterate and can't work things here, but I you're don't know why fine. the mic isn't working. No, your mic is no, working. We, we can hear you now. Can you hear us? I cannot hear anything you guys are saying. We okay. were telling about the hot dogs and the Cracker Jacks and yeah. the baseball games. Nice, 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 nice. And that there's three games on every Sunday. And then right. in April, something new and exciting is happening. We haven't figured that out yet. George, I'm leading it to you to read. I cannot <laughs> hear a thing you're saying. My 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 skills here are so bad. <laughs> I don't even That's see okay, what to We got here. you covered. We got yeah. you covered. Um, yeah. we, they have a, a website at <sighs> ecabl.net. You can learn more about the Eastern Carolina Amateur Baseball League and how you can take part in it. And um, uh, the schedule of games, I'm sure, is on there. The schedule of concessions is probably on there. Um, Cracker, and, Jack. uh, and Cracker Jacks. Cracker Jacks. And okay, look, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll, I'll, come, I'll come back. I'll okay. come back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just real quick. Um, he didn't see that um okay. it was like this wendy he went he went uh oh <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if he knows what happened okay uh, just get, getting back to the the baseball <laughs> they're looking <laughs> You know what that look said? That look said, you better not be eating Cracker Jacks. That's what that look <laughs> they're, they're looking for people to, to sponsor for money. Uh, for, because oh, to sponsor the teams. Yeah, well, and actually to try to help um, with the stadium. Or, you know, I'm not sure if the scoreboard, but please get in touch with them if you want to be part of this. Sunday baseball, is it's terrific. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting stuff. And we have a couple comments here. Let's see if I can figure this out. Uh, our our dear friend Thea and Bill. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hey guys. Okay. Thanks for thanks for tuning in. And Veronica. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Veronica says, "Way to wing it and go with the flow with Doug. Come on out to <laughs> Art Walk on Friday. The Bloom we're planning." The Bloom Where Planted exhibit ends March 30th. I'll be there on Friday to school visitors on how I paint with alcohol ink. Sometimes I also use grain alcohol with my inks. Oh, wow. So, see you at the uh, Community Artist Gallery Studio Annex. It's also known as CAGS. It's so fun to see art, art and people mix it up together. New Bern is a great place for awareness of art. Yes, yes it is. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Veronica. Oh, and and Doug is back for just oh, a, no. a second attempt here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Doug, All right, Doug. Doug. Can you hear us now? Okay. Hello. You had a question? Can you hear us? I can yes. hear you. I don't touch you. a question. <laughs> I'll, I'll be all right. <laughs> Do you have Cracker Jacks at the baseball games? Okay. Do we have Cracker Jacks? We actually are working on getting concessions uh, there. We have we have drinks. Uh, okay. We have had trucks that came by. All right. On the street, uh, but right now we're we're trying to get concessions going. We're mainly interested in playing baseball, but you know, <laughs> part of baseball is aesthetics. <laughs> but we'll be working on uh, concessions as the year goes by. That sounds great. And we All told right. people your website address, Doug, so they can figure out, find out more and get your, your game schedule. 
and how they can get involved. Well, that's great. Yes, ecabl.net has our schedule, has stats, has comments, has pictures. Um, it's better to see it live. Mm -hmm. I basically have called this Adult Little League. Uh, <laughs> we have oh, boy. all caliber <laughs> of uh, talent out there, but they're very good games. We have some college players. We have a couple that have been paid to play baseball in the past. Wow. But most of them are just like me, uh, played in high school and, and played a little bit here and there, but not ready to give up the game. And not ready to play softball so much. We love baseball. <laughs> love there you go. <laughs> All right. Wonderful. Well, Doug, thank you so much for your time today. And and you you look great. We're gonna see you on Sunday. And oh, did you say what time they kick off the the, the time of the games? Yeah, the first game starts at one o'clock and we have a game of four o'clock, we have a game of seven. So we get we play under the lights too. All right. We welcome That's great. all passerbys, and we'll be glad to talk to you. You see me, I'll be the number seven. That's me, and I'll talk to anybody. Lucky seven. All right. Lucky, there you man, go. lucky number seven. So thank great. you, Doug. Thanks, we really Doug. appreciate it. Thanks, Have everybody. a great thank day. You, Doug. Take care. Yeah, man. Hey, Just round of applause. Take care. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> awesome. That's that cool. great. That was fun. Well, that's a lot of fun to go and see a game because a live yeah. game is so much more interesting than trying to watch it on television. It's, you know, yeah. that's watching paint dry when you go to a baseball game on television. So Especially if it's your, if it's your friends and neighbors, right? It's yeah, like exactly. Having a good time. That's great. How much fun is that? Yeah. Bring a picnic. <laughs> yeah. B-Y-O-C. Bring your right. own Cracker Jacks. <laughs> <laughs> But don't tell Dr. Oxley. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I, I would break this crown. Oh, yeah. well, oh, don't. My teeth are going to start hurting. <laughs> I'm going to have nightmares of my teeth falling out of my head. I don't. Have you, have you all have ever had those nightmares? No. No? no. And you're, you're catching them? Isn't it? I, I no. have to ask Dr. Oxley about that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't uh, think that's his specialty. I think that's somebody else you might have to go see. <laughs> um, you were I, okay. George was improving there for a little while. If you if you are watching this and you mi and you missed it, but he was reading the lips and just making Not stuff really. up. Yes, right, right. And yeah. it was very entertaining. And I just have to give you a huge shout out to Small Town News. Podcast? Yes, Small Town Small News, Town News right. Podcast, 200 episodes. Wow. So, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you got to watch it. I mean, or listen to it or whatever. Um, it's it's very, if you need to just, a, you know, escape it's just silly. from the daily. It's silly. Yeah. Uh, you a know, little joy for your day. Yeah, yes. It, it is yeah. silly. It, it, we do go to virtually take romps through real towns in the United States. You can learn something about the towns that you've maybe who was from there and some, what they're known for. So we do have our, our researcher, Dr. Jess, does provide actual facts to us before we get started. And there we all, we take um, actual newspaper articles from these small town newspapers to as inspiration. So they're real stories uh, about places you may not have heard of before that are the size of New Bern or smaller um, oh, nice. all around the United States. Great. It's yeah, and you accept if somebody has a story, you know, say they want to have an idea, you would take that into consideration, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? If they say, hey, why don't you do one about my town? We've done that several times. Yeah, that's, that's so I, yeah. I think it's just wonderful, you know, it, to bring joy, <laughs> just like you bring jo band joy to our lives, you know, on George's porch. That you know, hey, that's a big deal. And yeah. what was, I appreciate there was a, it? It was a song book, right? Did, did you do a yes song? the uh the parking lot picker songbook i went to a banjo <laughs> camp i know isn't that funny I went banjo, to banjo camp, camp. <laughs> yeah it, it was it was it was other instruments too but everybody's there for the banjo yeah. you know how yeah. um but uh bill evans is an amazing banjo player and teacher from california and bill um co-wrote a book um a guy named i think bruce Dix, and uh, it's called the parking lot picker songbook and it's got 200 songs in it and it's all songs you know it's got the lyrics and the chords 
and it also has um, the notes, so you can you can play along with it. And um, they actually have a version of that for guitar players and fiddle players and mandolin players and banjo players. So you could, if you have a group of friends, you could all play from the same sheet of music. And um, and they love the parking lot pickers because that's like when you go to these camps or you go to these festivals and things, there's always jams that kind of get started around the parking yeah. lot. And so they're, they're songs that a lot of people know. And so they're perennial favorites that you can kind of get with a group of people you don't know and probably make some music together oh, by playing great. these same songs. So yeah, it's really fun. And I, I did make my way all the way through the book. Um, and I'm working on some other books now. So yeah, it's fun. Super. Very nice. Yeah, and we're enjoying it. Well, I am. I know that. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. So I, I'm still, every time I'm like, is he going to sing? Is he going to sing? <laughs> what is, is Juno going to come out? Is the puppy going to chase Juno? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's one other thing I should talk about. Uh, we keep talking about civic theater, and I'm sorry for those of you who don't want to hear about civic theater. But um, <laughs> the Follies, Ken Hess, oh, the, yes. Pod Squad, um, the Newburn Follies is going to happen on April 2nd, Saturday night. And it's the first time we've had a vaudeville show in that theater in 100 years. Oh, so, wow. um, yeah, so it was originally a vaudeville show, a vaudeville theater. And there are people from all over the community, some of whom have never been in this theater before, that are going to bring their talents. Uh, some of it will be you know, beautiful, some will be, um, you know, very, very talented, some will be funny, some will be crazy and weird. There's all kinds of strange, almost like stupid human tricks that some people do. Um, and I, I may sing and play the banjo on one of those, Wendy. So you need to be there. Um, Actually, that's my birthday. So maybe oh, uh, I, okay. I never, I never celebrate my birthday, but you know, you need I've, to come to I'm, the theater. It, What's I, wrong with you? I, I don't usually, I can't believe I said that out loud. And now it's like, everywhere. oh, you're in trouble now. Uh, but the, the, the whole thing is, it's like, who cares? I'm just going to celebrate because who knows if we have another, you know? I mean, not oh, that yeah. I, I, it's no yeah. doom and gloom. I don't mean right. it that way. But Always celebrate it. Celebrate right. every day we have, you know? So why not? And, there you uh, go. That's right. So April yeah. 2nd, Vaudeville comes to New Bern. Yes, New Bern Follies. New Very Bern cool. Theater, starts at 730. That'll be a lot Great. Of Anybody Check playing out. the spoons? I don't. Oh. Think so. <laughs> uh, but no, I so can't. Many. I can't. I'm just asking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just wondering, you know, one of those weird things. <laughs> yeah, no, I got you. I got you. Yeah, and if people haven't picked up on it, it is like a variety show, right? Yes. That okay. Because I never knew what that was until Ken told me. So really, really cool. Yeah. Yep. Fun stuff, and we have some the more Polly. comments here. Uh, okay, Veronica, she gave us a round of applause. Well, yeah, Yay. thank you. <laughs> and Megan, hey, 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 Megan. Megan. Hello. well, I haven't seen you in a long time. Hope you're doing well. And uh, and we, Kathy Morrison is in the waiting room. All right, I, Kathy, I, I see two images, Kathy, so I'm gonna choose one of them. Are you ready? If you are, wave at us. <laughs> Ready? Blink twice if you're not. Yeah, it's coming to us from the haunted attic. Uh oh. Uh oh. You got me back on your mic. Ghosts. Whoops. There I am. There you are. Okay. There we go. All right. I think that's. I think that's me. You look. You look really good. That's the wonderful lighting. Do you have? Is that most the blinds lighted? Rather ethereal. Close the blinds and, and the holes in the roof make it come through. <laughs> I know why you're broadcasting from that what looks like an attic. You're going to talk about the ABC sale, aren't you? I'm going to talk about the ABC sale and the uh, Harry Goodman Adventure, Battlefield Adventure Day, and going to say save the date for Heritage Home Store. Going to cram all those three in there at one time. Oh my yeah. goodness. I'm exhausted already. Yeah, let me just, <laughs> real, real quick, let's make a total introduction. Um, I'm not sure if I said Kathy's last name. It's Kathy Morrison with the New Bern Historical Society. You've got so much on your plate right now. Um, so you want to tell us what's on it. There we go. <laughs> Start over, kiddo. Just have lunch. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, first is uh, is the ABC sale, the uh, upscale ABC sale, uh, curated ABC sale. It's now moved out to Battlefield Park. And because of the rain, it's moved to Sunday. So if you saw anything that said that the ABC sale for the Newburn Historical Society is on Saturday, disregard that. 
It's now on Sunday. It's going to start at 10 o'clock instead of 9. And it'll go 10 to 4 on Sunday. Lots of good stuff. Uh, antiques, art, collectibles, furniture. Uh, Mickey said there's some rugs and some lamps. Um, uh, collectibles, I said that. Jewelry, tools, and outdoors. So so they have, in, in the process of moving to the battlefield, they kind of made fewer categories. And then they got pickier in what they have. So that's why that's why it's curated. Curated is another word for picky. And Kathy, please <laughs> <laughs> please explain ABC because it's not connected it's not to the package store. No, it's not booze. It's, it's uh, really old booze. Yeah. <laughs> Vintage. That's it's right. aged bourbon. It's the nice stuff. There you go. Go see George if you bourbon. want that. If you want that, go see George. We don't have that. This, <laughs> this is like 33 years for this fundraiser for the Historical Society. And way back then, they said, well, where are we going to get this stuff? Well, people are going to clean out their attics, their basements, and their closets and donate their stuff. And that's what they do, folks. Folks uh, donate all kinds of really interesting and neat things as they do their spring cleanups or their pare downs or their downsizes or whatever they're doing. So ABC is attic basement closet, not booze. <laughs> what have you, Kathy? If you were to donate one of the things behind you, what would you pick? Is it one of the creepy dolls? The creepy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Back no when dolls. I, yeah, back when I was a regular, I looked that up for you, George, and that's a that's a, one of those collectible dolls. I don't know what a, what of my junk up here you could have. Yeah, my mother's bowling trophy. You want my mother's bowling trophy? <laughs> yes, put that in the ABC sale. <laughs> Look at that great scale you've got back there. You know, <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a scale. I've got all kinds of all kinds of stuff. Yeah, that was <laughs> left over from when I sold coffee in my in my needlework store on the Outer Banks twenty years ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> so wow, you never know. So anyway, ABC sale this weekend. Super. And then wait, you get to wait a couple of weeks. And on March the 26th is the Harry Goodman Battlefield Adventure Day. Uh, Battlefield Adventure Day is again out at Battlefield Park. If you need an address to plug into your to plug into your uh, GPS, finder, yes, yeah, it's 300 Battlefield Trail. So 300 Battlefield Trail, Newburn is the official address. Uh, Battlefield Adventure Day is a day for the whole family. Uh, special activities for kids uh, uh, 6 to 12, but lots of things happening for adults and teens. They're going to do uh, do tours, battlefield tours and demonstrations and things. The kids will get to do practice drills and camp activities, crafts and games. The adults and the teens will have uh, living history presentations. Um, uh, then we, we said battlefield tours. Uh, lots of hands-on things, bugle calls and drum beats, so you know what to do when when you hear that sound on the bugle. You know what to do, which direction to go. Uh, oh. Hands-on carved toys, period games, military camp life display, historic equipment, and tool displays, and a demonstration on making pine pitch and tar, so you too can be an official tar heel. <laughs> so all I am curious about the. The bugle calls, Kathy. So bugle like calls, one yeah. pitch means run left. One pitch run means run, run right. right. Yes, or get up or go to bed or, you know, oh, gotcha, okay. don't gotcha, retreat, gotcha, gotcha. you know, yeah. forward, forward. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All that. Uh, but that's that's at Battlefield Park on the 26th. You do need to register. Uh, cost for is $10 for the first family member and then $5 for the next, uh, whether it's a child or an adult. But the max no matter how many adults and kids you got, is $20. Oh, great. Okay, so there's a max of $20. First thing you'll do is have a commissary lunch, which is Brunswick stew and stuff to go with it, mm. and ham biscuits, things like that. Good, good stuff, good stuff. They didn't go out and get a squirrel for the Brunswick stew, no. Oh. You know, <laughs> Quarter-century chicken Brunswick stew, you know. Okay. <laughs> no squirrels and possums and raccoons and whatever they could catch to throw in the old Brunswick stew. Much correct. Uh, but that, <laughs> that'll happen. After after uh, Adventure Day is the designated day for the by American Battlefield Trust for Park Day for uh, digging in and helping the park and clean up the park. So if you want to help out, bring your rake. And after Adventure Day is done, you can help rake out the Redans because the Redans are the, the earthworks that, that they dug and built back in the Civil War. And 
erosion and thing messes them up and you don't want all the leaves down in the ditch because that also makes them compact and and uh, they won't survive as well. So if you want to help break out the red dance, you get a free t-shirt. Oh. So if you want to come to Adventure Day, come to Adventure Day, have a good time. You know, lots of moms and dads and kids, lots of grandpas and grandmas and, and grandkids and, you know, whole family. Have a good time. Reenactors uh, from the 5th and the 7th North Carolina, whoops, regiments. <laughs> that was a big word, regiments. <laughs> also, the USCT, the U.S. Colored Troops will be there. Nice. Um, so lots of different reenactors. You can see what they really had to wear, all those wool things, you know, in July that they had to that they had to wear. Although the Battle of New Bern was March 14th, not July. So lots of lots of stuff going on. Uh, you do have to register by phone or in the office. Give them a call at 638-8558. Uh, there's information online at newburnhistorical.org, but there's too much stuff to register online. So give them a call. So that's March 26th. And then mark your calendar because it'll be here, you know, in less than a month because we're already on, gosh, we're already on the 10th. Less than a month for Heritage Homes Tour, April 8th and 9th. Somebody I know is going to be on a porch. Ooh. And grinning. Yes. <laughs> I'll be there with the bona fides. I think from 2 to 3, 1 to 2. I think oh. we're going to be on Dr. Bell's porch. Uh, down I, th there I think that's right. I think that's yeah. who it is. Um, there are nine terrific houses um, from, from you know, great big historic fancy ones to cozy historic ones to brand new ones built in the historic district to uh, renovations and repurposed. Uh, the, the, uh, you're familiar with the tap that that's at the city laundry that the Adolphs repurposed that whole building. Right. Uh, there's pottery there and there's tap that. The Adolphs also made a home in, in what was the uh, the warehouse part of that. So that's one of those repurposed places. That have, it's really a neat place and uh, fun to see. So that's on the tour. So there's nine places on the tour, but and it's kind of scattered around in all the different houses you or on the porches of the houses, you're going to find musicians. The Bonafides are one, the Silver Lining Singers. Uh, mm -hmm. So there, there's a there are four different singing groups. There will be artists who are working, plein air artists oh, who are cool. outside doing their doing their paintings. Sure. So there will be a number of artists. There will also be a jewelry maker. Lots of different arts things that you can see and and watch them do. You know the magical stuff that they do, and there'll be food trucks. So there'll be food trucks at at um, Brewery Ninety Nine. There'll be food trucks. At the next one up the way, whose name I've forgotten. Fresh water. Fresh water. Yeah. water that one. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and we're still working knock wood to get something at the AO house. So there might be some kind of a of a breakfast if you want to get something, you know, good as you start out. Uh, you know, there, there's a, a raffle where you can win some good stuff and you don't have to buy a ticket because it's part of your ticket. There's just lots of lots of things going on with this uh, Heritage Homes tour, April eighth and ninth. Get your ticket at newburnhistorical.org or at the Historical Society at 511 Broad Street. What else do you want to know? <laughs> I'm exhausted. That's a lot. <laughs> I, think, I think for now the most important thing is to remember that the ABC sale is Sunday. Sunday. Starting at Sunday, 10. Sunday, yes. Yes, yes. So yes. get yeah, there to for, find something wonderful. And yeah. For a list of everything that Kathy has talked about, mm -hmm. you Besides that and more, check out uh, the New Bern Historical Society's Facebook page, their website. I mean, you're constantly updating um, and with so much going on. You're just, you've got a lot going on. So, yeah, there's there's things always happening. Uh, you know, as Jane says, the, the, the first thing to remember for this coming up weekend is don't go out there in the rain on Saturday. Sunday for the ABC sale at the pavilion at New Bern Battlefield Park at 300 Battlefield Trail. Kind of All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you can go to church first. Go to church and then go out there. <laughs> and see what God has intended you to have because he put it out there for you to find it. There you go. <laughs> he, he <put> That's it. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's meant for you. It's calling you. Right. <laughs> it, 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 you have that piece. Whether it's a collectible plate or whether it's that chair, that rocker that you always wanted a rocker, and now there's a rocker out or there. That waiting. haunted doll. Or that. No, no, no. <laughs> my doll. 
You want my doll? No, I want Wendy to have them. No, 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 no. Yeah. So, so With the teeth out. falling out. Yeah. We'll have to bring him to Dr. Oxley. <laughs> yeah, well, speaking of Dr. He's waiting. He's waiting. So, uh, but okay. Kathy, thank you so much for, right, for updating us and have a great day. And hey, woo! Kathy. Bye, Kathy. See, you See you later. Okay. Are you ready, Doc? You want to wave? A good transition go. to the dentist. Yeah. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Perfect. Hey. hey. Doctor. <laughs> good afternoon. Doctor. Can you hear me okay? We can yes. hear you. Awesome. Wow. It's nice so, to meet you finally. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'd like to be the one to introduce Dr. Oxley uh, by showing some of his handiwork. So I got this crown for this. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 He did a great job. Um, it's still in there, which is one of the best things about having a good crown is that it stays in your mouth. Right, Dr. Oxley? <laughs> That's right. You want your crowns to stay in your mouth. You want all your teeth to stay in your mouth. Yeah. You do. You do. In fact, we talked about that, didn't we? About like that's my new favorite tooth, and um, I wondered if you could just pull all the rest of them and replace them with crowns as good as that. And you did not recommend that. I wouldn't recommend just pulling them. No. 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 Oh. You're willing yeah. to do it, but yeah, don't. No. Doctor Oxley, I don't know if you heard us complaining. Well, <laughs> George was complaining that we aren't allowed to have. Cracker Jacks. Yep. <laughs> so, you know. I mean, if you, if you got a couple strong crowns on some teeth, like those might be the ones that you just want to chew your Cracker Jacks on. Okay. There you go. They're like bionic teeth. <laughs> better than the, better yeah, than the regular. If you have a tooth with a big silver filling in it, that might not be the one you want to chew with. There you go. All right. Sounds uh, good. So oh, I, I heard someone talking about the, the nightmare of the teeth falling out. And I will have, <laughs> I will have to say I've, I've had – a couple patients like report the same kind of nightmare and it that sounds very terrifying it does yeah it is and i've had it for at least probably since i was 18. like well dr actually to put wendy at ease you've never <laughs> actually seen that happen right <laughs> nobody's ever come in and like had head pulls he hesitated oh, i'm a little I'm concerned like, with teeth in their hand yeah. i'm like oh, here's my teeth doc <laughs> 32 teeth on the table yeah. yeah, it's like a puzzle. You got to put them back in the right hole. Yeah, can you fix this, Doc? <laughs> oh, this I'm sure the time you of year. Please, please tell Wendy that's never happened, or Wendy will never yeah. sleep again. But does do you typically have those nightmares at like your six month recall, where it's like, ooh, I need a, you know, maybe it's happening because your teeth are just telling you it's time to be clean. Oh, yeah. oh that's good maybe, thinking. Ooh, maybe. Nice. That's yeah, I don't, I don't know. I should have written it on the calendar, but yeah, you know, I need, <laughs> <laughs> no, I need to get, get to the dentist more often. So yeah, I, I, I have going, a, I, I have a going fear. To a dentist, Oxley Comprehensive Dentistry is the one for you, Wendy. Hey, you he, um, Dr. Oxley took over the practice from Dr. Rebecca Forrest, right? How long ago has, has it been? Uh, I took it over in August of 2020. So, okay. Right? Yeah, office oh, timing is, is everything. Yeah, office <laughs> just opened up like for a couple of months, and uh, it, I mean, it was kind of a, a weird transition period. Um, you know, it was the first few months were, I mean, it was it was something totally new, and uh, it was a it was an experience. I'm I'm now kind of transitioning into, into other, you know, other things going on with the practice. Our, we've been we've been growing. I've I've went from. Uh, three team members, you know, which were with Dr. Forrest. We now have mm -hmm. five. We're looking to add another one. Wow. Um, you know, and, wow. and I'm, I'm proud of that. I'm, I'm glad with the, you know, I'm happy with all the people that, that we have working, working with me here to, to accomplish the, you know, the goal that I have for my practice, which is to provide the best industry here uh, that, that we can in, in New Bern in Eastern North Carolina. So it's been fun. We've put on a lot of new technologies, the, the cleaning system, uh, like the crown that that you had done, oh, uh, you know, oh. we got the, we got three dimensional scanners. You know, you don't have to put all the goo in your mouth, and nice, uh, it's very, yep. it's very accurate. So, with a lot of technologies today in dentistry, it can be very predictable. You know, the final outcomes, um, and you know, we we still we still clean teeth. Uh, you know, for for patients that don't have a lot of complex problems. So, and where did you move here from, doctor? I moved from Sneeds Ferry. I was in the military. I was a Navy dentist, and my last duty station was at Camp Lejeune. 
And so that, that was kind of my first time living in North Carolina. I'm originally from Tennessee, but, uh, you know, I, during my time at Camp Lejeune, I, I lived in Sneeds Ferry. It was like three miles from the beach. Uh, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed, you know, besides the hurricanes, but you know, that's kind of one of those things. <laughs> <There's that. laughs> we, we had tornadoes growing up where, where I grew, uh, you know, in Tennessee, but you know, hurricanes are something totally different, but, um, I mean, I, I really enjoyed the weather, the the things that, the outdoor things that Eastern North yeah. Carolina has to offer. Um, and I, to be quite honest with you, I'd never been to New Bern before. The first time I came to New Bern was to do the Mission of Mercy Clinic, like in 2019 or something. Mm -hmm. And, you know, thought New Bern was kind of a cool town, but still didn't really know much about that. But as I was getting ready to get out of the, out of the Navy, I wanted to get own my own practice. So I was... You know, when you when you do something like that, you pretty much just like try to find the geographic area where you yeah. want to work and just kind of see what's available. And, and Dr. Forrest, practice, you know, she was looking to retire and sell the practice, and uh, it's been it's worked out great. Wendy is also a Navy veteran. Nice. Uh, Wendy, when did you retire? I was a corpsman, uh, 2007. Yeah. Right. So my my one of my best friends was a dental doc from the ship, uh, Lieutenant. Monica Matson, she she's up in Annapolis right now, but she and she's in private practice. But um, she was in a, a what do you call it? We're in a combat zone where her loan was forgiven. Um, wow. So yeah, then I mean, then people say, oh, I don't know about the military, but really, it it really does have great advantages. So yeah, yeah, um, and you know, only one percent of the population actually serves. Really. I, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So um, I was happy that I did. I mean, they they covered the the cost of dental school for me, which I mean, wow. nowadays it's it's a quarter of a million to, to half a million dollars, and is what school is, you know, in state. Yeah. Right. So, right. Wow. Thankful. Well, thank you. That I was, you. Yeah. I was able to get that scholarship, and you know, I, I served my time and and got a, a lot of great experience. I mean, you know. The Marines down at Camp Lejeune, they got no shortage of, of dental cavities that need to be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, we did a lot of good treatment with them. I, I ran I ran my own clinic on base, you know, while I was in, in uh, at Camp Lejeune. Um, got involved with a, a couple of different things. I, I, I love the veterans. Um, I've met a couple, you know, nice, neat veterans here in, in the Newburn area. So that's that's been fun to try to, you know, stay connected with the veteran community. Yeah. Wow, that's good to know. And you're yeah. you're an outdoor, you're outdoorsy kind of guy. You like fishing, right? Do you, I like are you a fish. fisherman? I'm not the one to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> no, no fishing report today. <laughs> you know, I caught some back in October uh, of last year, and I haven't really been able to go much since. But you know, I'm I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, I got a I got I do have one patient who owns a charter charter fishing company and i'm going to try to get my dad out and yeah do him and, and try to you know learn some tricks maybe maybe even get my gps out and like <laughs> steal some yeah put a pin yeah. <laughs> that's my that's, spot yeah that, well, there's be, special I, memories big time yeah i want to ask dr oxley since we were just talking about baseball a little while ago and kids are going to be outside playing even more you know as the weather gets better um accidents happen so when that tooth gets knocked out, what should they do? That's a great question. You know, I, I played baseball, so, you know, I had my fair share of accidents. I've never seen a tooth get knocked out, but, uh, I mean, baseball is a very high, you know, you guys were talking about how slow it can be to watch a game on TV, but, you know, I actually enjoy that. So I, I did just want to point that out. I enjoy every, there's so many small things in a baseball game, but, you know, a baseball can come off the bat like 110 miles an hour. And uh, the pitcher is, uh, you know, 90 feet away. And uh, if a tooth gets knocked out, the, I mean, it kind of depends on the situation, but you can knock an entire tooth out. And if that's, if you knock the entire tooth out, um, if you're pretty savvy, you can stick it back up into the socket <laughs> and then call your as quickly as possible. You want to rinse it out or you want to rinse it. But if you, if you can't, uh, the, there is a solution that you can buy at, at CVS or at a pharmacy. It's like dental milk solution and you can put the tooth in there, but you, you gotta be able to put the tooth in within an hour. That's usually oh. kind of the cutoff. 
after an hour, the outside of the root of the tooth starts to necrose and you can end up with the tooth being like pretty much rejected from the body. Yeah. But if you don't have that solution, like most people don't have it, you can stick it in milk. Uh, it's, it's not really advised to stick it in water. So if you don't have milk, you can stick it actually, uh, you know, inside your tongue, you know, underneath the tongue of your mouth, yeah. you got the, you know, the proteins and stuff in your saliva that will keep it until you can get to the dentist within an hour. Uh, after an hour, it can be kind of unpredictable what's going to happen. But if you knock and, and just chip a piece of the tooth off, you know, there's multiple things that can be done there. But if you keep the piece, sometimes the piece can be bonded back on and look very natural. And, uh, you know, it'll be a little bit weaker than the natural tooth, but uh, it, it can it can still look natural and function the way that it was before it was broken. It all, it all kind of depends on the, yeah. you know, how it fractures. But. Doctor, I have another question that came up during um, our, one of our recent Small Town News podcast recordings. So dentists are pretty famous for not working on Fridays, right? Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> kind of a thing. It's kind of I'm a thing. Are, though. You are? Okay, don't I tell do have to the work dentist. Work. They'll come get you. You'll get kicked out of the union. But, uh, <laughs> but what if you opened a dental practice that was only open on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Oh, my God. Don't you think you could, like, work three days a week and just, like, make a million dollars? You know, I've had, a, I actually had a patient <laughs> pose that to me. He was like, what if you just worked Friday and Saturday? Yeah, just two days a week. Yeah, I know. Uh, and just kind of squeeze everything in there. You know, th there might be something to that. What I've worked Friday, when I was in the military, I, I moonlighted and worked mm -hmm. out in town uh, for several years. And I would work on Fridays and Saturdays at some of the offices that bigger offices in Wilmington that would be open. And it would kind of be a crazy show. To be quite honest with you, it's like people that are coming in on Fridays and Saturdays are it's, it's it is easier sometimes for patients to get in on those dates, especially Saturday. But it can sometimes just be chaotic. Also, it's like you would see you would I would get so many sit calls, you know, here's here's an here's an alternate idea then. All right. You know, you've always seen the show Night Court. Think Night Dentist. You're only open from <laughs> five at night. To at night. <laughs> and so people can come after work and they just like. They probably beat some funny stories there too. Doc. What do you think? I know. But do you want to open a night dentist with me? <laughs> it, it is an interesting concept. You you probably have a hard time finding people that want to work those hours with you too. Oh, though. that's a good and, point. You know, yeah. The staffing thing. I mean, they could have the rest of the day off. Like, it just have to work at night. The second shift. I know. I just need you guys from five till ten at night. So yeah. You guys get to sleep in. No, I, I think it would be hard to find staff to do that, but. I mean, I've never seen a dentist business model that's just like, I'm only open Friday and Saturday for, for your convenience, you know? Yeah, for your convenience. <laughs> Give it a try. Give it a try. I, I, I'd go. Yeah. Well, Dr. Oxley, you are open on Fridays? Ma'am? You, you are open on Fridays? Uh, I'm, if, if I have a pretty complex case or something, or we have team training, yeah. Uh, they do that on Fridays, so there's not so many, so much busyness going on. If I'm if I'm doing a really complex case, I don't want to have to get up and, and you know go right. do other or check on other patients. I just want to reserve that time to to do that. So. That's great. That really yeah. shows the commitment to the patient. That's a wonderful thing. That's right. That's yeah. super Very good. Yeah. yeah, great. Well, Doc, I really appreciate you coming today. Yeah, um, thanks. We yeah, keep I hope the I taught you something that was, that was <laughs> yeah it was great conversation we we could yeah. go on for another hour <laughs> yeah i've got lots of business ideas for you doctor <laughs> <laughs> now that's gonna, that should be another show oh, all together yeah. show. george just yeah. don't <laughs> george if you if you name me on your podcast and you want to start like just pounding me with some questions i, yeah. I love it okay. <laughs> i had a couple patients this week that were like they asked me these questions and i you know I don't get these questions that often, but I, I would just explain it to them, you know, the number of teeth or you know, the yeah. number of baby teeth and, and, you know, it questions like yours. And it's like, well, I know the answer to that. That's kind of easy. You know, it's a, it's kind of imprinted in my brain, but you know, most people don't know that. So it's kind of, it is really fun to, to have people just throw out tooth questions. I can talk about teeth all day. I mean, <laughs> we'll have a tooth trivia podcast. Tooth there is that. Tooth, <laughs> tooth, tooth. <laughs> it's got to be a dental day, right? Yeah. yeah. Actually, it was just uh, a couple last month. Was it what was that? 
Dentist Day, National Dentist Day. Was that a couple mm -hmm. days ago yeah. or? Yeah, it was like last weekend or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We missed it. Yeah. <laughs> give you some give you some uh tips about your teeth that you want for a while. Oh, that's good. <laughs> 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 that was that was a good one. There you go. You belong with George in his show. Yes. There you go. Yeah. We got this. We got this. Just be yeah. cheesy dad jokes all the whole time. Yeah. There you go. We'll get to the the root of the issues. Oh. oh God. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have a lot of time to fill. So. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Nice. Well, well, we have to get to, to upcoming events. So, um, Doc with dental. Dr. Oxley, Eric, uh, thank you so much for joining thank us. That this has been for having me. great. It's nice. So it's nice to meet you. I, I appreciate the opportunity to to talk a little bit here. Yeah, we'd love to have you back anytime. So awesome. see you in about four months, man. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye. Woo. <laughs> that was great. Oh. That was great. Isn't that one of the qualifications to be on your podcast? George, is that you have to tell dad jokes? Oh, well, three of us are dads. <laughs> so three of us come out honestly. The fourth one pretends. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> in order to fit in. That's right. That's right. Uh, All right. Upcoming events, Wendy. Uh, yes, we've got a, a happening. Yeah, there's, we're going to do a quick rundown. I know that there's things listed under miscellaneous, but we'll just briefly name the topic and the who, what, when, where. I am going to have to. I'm going to have to jump so I can get on that um, executive director interview for New York City Theater. Well, you, you um, jump. So but... always great to see you guys. See you Thank soon, you, George. Thank You're you awesome. Woo! Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Yes. yes. Can't wait we'll to hear the well. outcome. This will yeah. be exciting. It is. All right. Yeah. Hey, by the way, do we have anybody who's made a guess on the contest? Okay. Well, let's and let's ask the question. Um, the question is. What year was North Carolina established? So, and if you answer correctly, you'll get a gift certificate to Moore's Chicken and Barbecue on News Boulevard. McCoy's. delicious food. M McCoy's, I'm sorry. Right. McCoy's Chicken and Barbecue. Yeah. McCoy absolutely. McCoy's Chicken and Barbecue. Yes. There we go. All right. All right. Um, so if you're looking for something fun to do Saturday, the Punisher's Motorcycle Club and their ride for the first responders suicide awareness will be having fun fundraising event at the at Barry the Hatchet. And that's at 504 South Front Street. And that's Saturday the 12th from 12 to 5 p.m. And that will be a fundraiser, which is a, a great cause. And uh, go ahead, Wendy. Uh, a secret place. Yeah, I'm typing right now. So you oh, okay. Ahead. A secret Sorry. place is holding a, a benefit concert for Mercy Clinic uh, this coming Saturday, March 12th, 5 p.m. Musical talents include the Dunn Sisters, which they were on the front page of the paper today, with solos by Apostle Barnes and Son and Minister Natalie Daniels. So that's a great opportunity. The uh, A secret place is located at 700 Professional Drive, New Bern. And for more information, contact Barb Adair. Executive Director of Mercy Clinic. And then we've got a public forum and candidate, uh, I'm sorry, public forum and candidate forum hosted by the New Bern People's Assembly. And that's also happening on Saturday from 11 to 1 at the Omega Center, 800 Cedar Lane. All are welcome with elections upon us. It's important that we get to know our candidates. So show up for that. That's again tomorrow at 1 p.m. at the Omega Center, 800 Cedar Street. And of course, Art Walk. Yippee, that's tomorrow night, March 11th, uh, from 5 to 8 p.m. And stop in at the Bank of the Arts at 317 Middle Street to pick up your art walk. <laughs> that's easy to say, art <laughs> walk card that highlights savings and exciting things that are happening around in the galleries and businesses in New Bern. Yeah, and uh, Veronica uh, Campos Hallstrom had mentioned the community gal artist gallery and studio, what's happening there. Um, they're also having um, music and, and a reception. So, and also face to face seeing community is at the Bank of the Arts. And that's tomorrow from five to eight. 
and also an art exhibit of private and homeschooled students on display for the month of March at the Bank of the Arts. Nice. And uh, then check out the 40 million year old tortoise fossil and all kinds of other artworks at Mickley Rose Watson mm -hmm. Studio M at 217 Middle Street. She's got some fantastic stuff there. If you haven't stopped in, you need to. It's always very cool. Um, very cool. Let's see, upcoming events this weekend, Masonic Theater, The Wedding Singer. That's kind of an adult show, but it's a really good one. Um, and then also on the 11th, Erica Butler's recital accompanied by Cliff Bagley from <laughs> at six. I said that wrong. No. Okay, um, at 6 and 7 p.m. at Christ Church at 320 Pollock Street. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Did I lose you? Oh, okay, okay, here we go. Cars and Coffee, New Bern. There you go. 10 at the New Bern Mall. It's right on the, the side of the mall uh, on Martin Luther King Boulevard. And on the 12th, it also is Colonial Capital Humane Society adoption event and that's from 11 to 2 at sarah's big apple uh out on broad creek Ro road and and then of okay. course on sunday the 13th at 10 o'clock the abc upscale abc sale um, at the new Bern battlefield park and that's 300 battlefield trail and that's supports the new Bern historical society go out and find the treasure they've got some wonderful things that'll be up in there Yes. On the, on the 17th, celebrating African American women through song, leaders in civil rights and women's rights. And that's at 7 p.m. It's a virtual event, and you can call 252 639 3515 for more information. Yeah, and it, it's also St. Patrick's Day on the 17th, and oh, celebrate right. it with, with Jim at 7 p.m. at the Tonic Parlor. And they're located on Middle Street. And also our friend Simon Spaulding is going to be performing his eclectic program um, of Irish acoustic music for St. Patrick's Day at Tap That. And there are, that's on Pollock Street. And he would also be performing on the 18th over at, um, no, on the 17th at Big Apple, Sarah's Big Apple. And then, no, scratch no, that. On the 18th. Yep. On the 18th, he's at Sarah's Big Apple. Yes. And right. also on the 17th is St. Patrick's Day karaoke style at the garage. And uh, yeah, I think that, oh, one more thing before, because we're going to announce the, the trivia question. Uh -huh. Arbor Day celebration, 11 a.m. at the Palace Point Commons on South Front Street. And that's presented by the New Bern Parks and Recreation on the 18th. So Sounds great. Yes. So uh, talk about the contest, what's happened. The contest question is, what year was North Carolina established? <laughs> anyone? Anyone? A anyone? <laughs> I don't see anyone guessing, don't but see um, no, uh, but I, I will say, uh, Lorelei um, made a comment. Hey there, still trying to get the city to save Union Point Park forever. Keep contacting your elected officials to express your concerns. Will do. Thank, thank you, Lorelai. Okay, so do we have a we guess miss? for what year was North Carolina established? We don't have a guess, but you want to know the answer? I do want to know the answer. It, the actual date was November 21st, 1789. So 1789. Yeah. November yeah. 21st. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And New Bern was not far beyond that, be, you know, behind that. So that's pretty right. cool. That is excellent. And, uh, yeah. So wow. is that a wrap? I think that's a wrap. That, that's a wrap, folks. And th Jane, thank you as always. Um, Love to be here. Right. So remember to send your announcements, stories, and events. And Wendy will put them on the calendar on New Bern Now. And also let her know if you'd like to be a guest or if you have any questions or concerns or suggestions and give her a call at 252-259-6853 or send Wendy an email at info at newburnnow.com. Yeah. And we're going to be back on the 17th live on YouTube and Facebook, uh, our Facebook page. The video will be, uh, well, the video is, we'll stay where it's at. And then the audio will be taken and repurposed to our podcast, wherever you listen to your podcast. Um, 
and also on New Bern's news talk radio station, uh, 103.9 FM every Wednesday at 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. So thank you, everyone. Thanks, Jane. Sure. Thank you all. Have a great day and have a great weekend. All right. Sounds good. See you later. Take care. Bye.